Hello again, welcome back. In a moment, we'll meet the woman who has dedicated her life to helping the victims of a devastating disease. And later in the programme... Classic car, do you remember jav javelins on our roads? We've found one that's still running. It's a knockout. Robson's Magpies carry the region's hopes in the FA Cup. Catastrophe, the crime-busting idea that might not be so good after all. And before we go tonight, we'll get the latest on that pesky wind from Bob Johnson. Leprosy is one of the most feared diseases in the world, but witnessing the plight of sufferers in India has changed the life of one young woman from County Durham. Leah Patterson visited India's first leprosy colony while she was still a student. Since then, she's trained as a paramedic and has spent the last four years caring for women patients. Most have been rejected by society and their families because of the stigma attached to the disease, even after being cured. Leah, who's from Bishop Auckland, contracted the disease herself while working in India, but made a full recovery. Her aim is to set up a new clinic run by female workers to help diagnose and treat women in the early stages before deformity has occurred. And Leah Patterson is with me now. Uh, welcome, Leah. Hello. What made you want to help leprosy sufferers? I mean, most people would have run a mile, wouldn't they? Yes. Um, well, it wasn't planned. Um, I was an arts graduate in 95, and it was sort of a breakout between going on to my MA. Um, but to cut a long story short, I found myself very involved with the individuals in the leprosy colony where I was working. And I took it from there. I took the training and... Here I am today. <laughs> now, it's a bacterial infection, isn't yeah. it? Can it always be cured if it's caught early enough? Yeah, I mean, leprosy is 100% curable. But um, I think the biggest point about leprosy is that it has to be caught in the early stages before the deformities occur. Um, if deformities do occur, then it's a little bit more complicated. And the main problem is the stigma attached to the deformity. Mm. So. Yes, because women who catch leprosy in mm. India are often left to fend for themselves. Why, why is that? Um, the problem is that women in India, they are mostly reliant on their husbands and their families. And as I say, because of the stigma attached to leprosy, they find themselves thrown out of the home. And they are left to either live on the streets or go to asylums or resort to prostitution and along those lines mm. or enter colonies um, as I say they're reliant on the husbands so in most cases the husbands they can't cope with the prejudices mm. surrounding leprosy because it affects the whole family it's not just the individual um, the repercussions affect the whole family yeah. so how did you know that you'd caught leprosy yourself um, well, it took the observation of a, an ex-patient who noticed some patches on my wrist and she suggested that I see a specialist just in case, which I did. And it turned out to be leprosy, which was very unexpected. Um, but since then, I've completed the course of nine months treatment. Now fully recovered? Fully recovered, yeah. yeah. And you're going back to India next mm. month. Tell us about uh, your next project. Well, I'm going back to India to start a project which... Uh, I'm hoping to set up a clinic for women with leprosy, um, not merely to treat them, but to provide a counselling service for women um, and perhaps group therapy because the stigma attached to leprosy is far greater than the actual disease itself. So. We wish you well. Leah, thank you, thank very, you very, much. very much for coming in. Thank you. And if you'd like to find out more about Leah's charity to support women with leprosy, it's called START. And the number to ring is 01388 528 497. That's 01388 528 497. And the details are on our text page 626. Well, our trip through the Dales is always a pleasure, but if you want to be in keeping with the surroundings, you really do need the right transport. And one interesting winding road 